Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you haven't been here before. My name is Christina White and I do videos on lifestyle, fashion and beauty. So today's video, my favourite time of the year is the autumn transitional style season. So this is when it's still warm enough to wear sexy shorts, little tops and things, but it's not too hot to wear actual clothes. So throughout summer, I wear as little as possible because I just cannot cope with feeling sticky and perspiring and oh, all of that heat and having my the back of my neck like tacky. I just cannot stand it. So I wear as little as possible and I very rarely do my hair. So coming into the end of August, beginning of September time is my favorite, absolute favorite time of the year. You still have the warm, balmy evenings, the late nights, things like that. So it's just absolutely wonderful. There's still events going on. It's not too early in the year. So again, with like May and June, sometimes you, you haven't quite got the weather. And it's very hit and miss whether you get a hot enough day to wear like nice shorts and things. But usually August and September is like very nice and you just get oh, just nice mid 20 weather usually not a lot of rain and if the rain comes it's like one day not like full week and things like that so i just i just love this time of year this is what i've been looking forward to through the whole of august so what i've got for you today is a beautiful selection of autumnal transitional fashion from zara so i haven't bought anything from zara in quite some time i sort of swerve towards H&M a lot more during um, spring and summer but now I found a few more pieces on there and I really really do love um, their trousers and their shorts and things like that so I've got quite a bit of that in here and I'm really looking forward to opening it all so what I'm going to do is unbox it all with you and then I'm going to try it all on as outfits and show you how I'd style my autumn wardrobe so this is like a capsule wardrobe for autumn so it's all different items so that you can mix and match to make different outfits with. So I've got my trusty scissors. I'm just going to open this one first. lovely shorts. These are white Bermuda style shorts. Very nice. Lay these down. Right, I don't know what's in what box. Okay, so I think this is a pull tag. Yes. <laughs> I don't think I've ever bought anything from Zara online before because this is all new to me. I have bought that is on trend for this time of year and this season is what's in this bag so this although it's a trend piece this is a me piece this is a me piece and I really hope these fit me because I really do suffer with buying boots and having them actually fit me Ta -da! so what do we think <laughs> So these are over the knee, but these are like thigh high boots. I don't know if they're going to fit my thighs. Hopefully they do. I will try these on for you soon because I do have, I think I've got an outfit here that will go really well. Yes, I have. I've got an outfit that will go really, really well with these. So that's the other one. Super duper sexy is this. Lovely. Right, let's move that out of the way. Then we've got the big box here. This is all the big So first up, we have this gorgeous white double-breasted? Yeah, double-breasted blazer. It's absolutely stunning. Then we have the same blazer but in tan, because you can never have too many items in tan for a full transition. It's so gorgeous. 
then I have bought the white, very gorgeous smart trousers with the gold buckles. I absolutely love this sort of style of trouser. It's got an elasticated waistband as well, so it seems very comfortable. So it's very nice. Then we have, so white vest tops are on trend. Um, I've bought a few white bodies. So I've got this one, which has got the scoop front. Hopefully that fits me. And I thought one that's a little bit more bougie than the others. So this has got, oh, it's got a little snag. There we go. It's got crystal detail around the bust. It's like a little bustier corset style. Corsets are on trend as well. Um, and I've got this one, which is a bit like the one I've got on right now, actually, um, but a short sleeve, like no sleeve one. So this is a white asymmetric body. And I've got a little tiny skirt. So super mini skirts are on trend this season. Um, but I'm getting a bit older. I don't mind wearing short skirts, um, but I especially like it if I can wear a skort. So I've got the short skirt effect, but then I've got the safety of the skort, so the short. So they're like super short shorts. So this is the item that I bought to go with the new boots. So I'm looking forward to seeing what that all looks like together. And I bought, bought the beige or caramel, or camel? Caramel or camel, um, beige, whatever. Trousers as well. These are, I love these style trousers. These are like my favorite style trousers from Zara. They go with a pleat and they have the little notch at the back. They always fit so beautifully. I love them. And then I've got some sweet green Bermuda style shorts, but these have got the paper bag waist. So I absolutely love that about these. So I'm going to quickly steam anything that needs to be steamed and then I'll style these up for you and try it all off. Okay, so this is the very first outfit and there's a few trends going on here and it's the boots with the ultra mini skirt, so like the micro mini. I don't know if this is too young an outfit for me. I don't think I look... Um, like mutton dresses lamb, just because I'm not that old, but it's quite a look, isn't it? <laughs> it's quite a thing. Like, so it's really beautiful. Like, it's definitely an eye catcher, 100%. This is an attention grab. I just don't know if I want this much attention, to be honest with you. Um, it's giving me very 90s. And I know 90s are the thing. It's just... I don't know if I can reasonably pull this off. It looks quite clean. I think the blazer gives it like a really smart edge to it. And then the boots take it back down the alleyway. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know if I'd ever wear this out as an outfit. This is how I styled it in my head. I was like, yeah, that would look wonderful. But... Mm. I don't know where I'd wear it. <laughs> I don't know where I'd wear anything like this. Um, I wouldn't wear it on a night out, but maybe I'd wear it to an event or something where there's press and that sort of thing. I mean, this is a very edgy outfit. Um, edgy for me, anyway. I love all the pieces separately. The skirt is actually too big, so I would need to get a smaller size of the skirt. I love the boots. The boots are 89 so they're really, really good value and they're really comfortable. The heel is not too high and they're wide enough for my foot. So I'm actually really impressed with the boots. I actually love them. They are a little bit big on my thigh, but they're actually smaller on my thigh than I thought they would be. So that's always a plus for me because I have thin legs. So uh, as an outfit, I'm not sure I'm bold enough to wear this in real life. I mean, I could definitely style this for Instagram and things like that, walk down the street house and take photos of me, but whether I'd actually 
wear it out. I don't know if I'm that um, bold. I'm definitely confident enough to pull it off. I just don't know if I want that much attention. <laughs> yeah, maybe 10 years ago, definitely. Yeah, anyway, moving on. So this one I can definitely get a lot more on board with. It's really nice. I love the shorts, I love the length of the shorts, I love how much of my legs can be out. And I really, really like this top. This top is so cute. I really love the asymmetrical side of it. However, I don't like that this double layer finishes here because it's just, what's the point? Why not just have had it double layered all the way down? So I'll probably send this top back just because I feel like that ruins the effect, to be honest with you. Um, but other than that, it is very sweet. I do love the colour of these shorts. And I really, really like them. They fit lovely. I do love a paper bag waist, like my favourite pair of trousers that I'm wearing at the moment, often Primark, and they have a paper bag waist. So they're actually a really similar fabric, like a linen blend or a linen effect or just linen. Um, you can get linen from Primark, who knew? So I really love everything about these, the colour, the fit, the length. They're really, really sweet. They're just really lovely for this time of year. I've paired them with a little pair of slip-on mules. These are from June. I absolutely love June shoes. Um, I just really like this. This is a lovely casual outfit. This would be great for like shopping during the day, that sort of thing. I just love how that sits on my hips. Um, paper bag and high waist makes my legs look even longer than they are. I've got quite a short body but really long legs and that just makes me look taller than I am, I find. Um, wearing sort of high waist trousers and things on 5'7". So wearing things that make me look even taller, make me look like five nine maybe, things like that. Who knows, girl can dream. Anyway, yeah, I think they're cute. Definitely keeping these. How much were they? 25.99. And the top, I don't know if I can see this. My hair is all in the bottom. 17.99 for the top. But yeah, top's going back. So this outfit is the drape front body with the Bermuda shorts and I've paired it with my Omer's black re something belt, I can't remember what it's called. Um, and this would go perfectly with my new bag from Aspinall of London. So this would be a really lovely outfit for, again, shopping or on holiday, going for lunch, that sort of thing. It's really, really nice, really classy, very classic outfit. I've paired it with my Louboutin wedges as well because of the tan look so it always looks really nice tan and white is a very crisp sort of look that goes really nicely together i also would wear this with the white blazer this would look lovely sort of an airport sort of outfit i would definitely wear this to the airport Very chic, very very chic, especially this top. The top's really nice with a drape detail at the front. So let's sort this out, get this organised, and then it goes beautifully because this just adds a little bit of interest to the outfit that's like all white, the tan and the rattan effect. So it's really really beautiful, just gorgeous. I'm trying to find my whole pockets there. So yeah, this is a lovely outfit. I'll definitely wear this to like a cruise or the airport or for. A a lunch date, lunch with the girls. This is definitely a me outfit. I actually love this look. Incredible. I'm actually going to wear this. I'm going to wear this whole outfit because I haven't yet worn my bag out. So this is perfect for transitioning into autumn. Absolutely gorgeous. Warm enough on the arms. My legs, I don't mind my legs getting cool. As long as my arms are covered, I tend to stay nice and a nice temperature. So I'm just going to see if the trousers would be a nice um, addition to this outfit or whether it would just be a bit too much. I'm thinking it might be a little bit too much because it has the gold buttons as well. There's just a lot of white, but we'll see. I'll just try it on now. Okay. What do we think of this? I should check it in the mirror myself. It's cute. I've never worn an all white suit before, so I don't know if it's too much to be honest with you, but it is sweet. Maybe a different bag. Um, like the stone boot ones though, I thought maybe they'd look a bit weird, but maybe being white would be completely too much white. Let's see what other bag might go with this. The, so we've got the Louis Capucines bag. 
What do we think? I actually quite like that. I think that ties in with the stone shoes. Gives me like a grey off white. Hmm. Very um, businesswoman like. This would be nice for like someone that owns their own business and they have meetings and things and they're in charge of the uniform and they get to deserve what they wear to work. This would be a really nice outfit for that. Definitely a back to the office. Gosh, I should use this bag more often. I hardly ever use it. It's so beautiful. I've had it a long time. It's only really have a bag for a while. They just go to the back of the wardrobe. I just get forgotten about. Oh, I actually love this size. It's perfect for this time of year. Lovely beautiful top handle. I do love a top handle. Okay, what do we think of this? I love the length of the trousers. They fit really nice. I'm just going to undo this button for you, show you. Um, I don't like how that looks undone. I think that looks a bit messy. Maybe the belt will break that up. That's quite nice actually. You can't see the buttons with the jacket, so you get a little bit of interest coming through on the belt. I'll try a different colour belt because I don't, I don't have a lot of backpacks, and I've got a few, but I'm not really a black person. That would be Louis belt. Now that, oh, I do love white and tan. Oh, I love white and tan. It's a lovely little Aspinall bag. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, that's a cute outfit. I like that. Very nice. So this is what's saying about capsule wardrobes. You have a lot of different things that go together well. And just keep trying different accessories until you find something that meshes well with your personality, with your style, that sort of thing. So yeah, I like that. So I'll keep looking at myself in the mirror here. Um, yeah, let me know what you think of this one. This is, I think, good for a work outfit or a meeting, lunch with the girls, first date maybe, if you want to come across as a very strong, independent lady. Hmm, yeah, that's very nice. So let's have a look at these trousers on their own, minus the jacket. as my River Island one, so I'm actually like, liking that more because my River Island ones, you can really see where the pocket line is. I did keep them in the end, they've got a bigger leg and they go to the bottom whereas these are a, a capri cat cropped type trouser. I don't quite think they're a capri pant actually. Um, yeah, I like it with the belt, especially um, as the belt covers the top button, so it looks quite nice actually. It's, this one's wide enough to hide that extra button so yeah I like this this is a bit looks a bit like a jumpsuit sort of effect hmm. yes I like this this looks nice also so yeah getting a few outfits together with just these few items that I've purchased so very nice keeping both of these so I've now paired this same outfit with the tan blazer and uh, let me know what you think. I'm not so sure this goes that well together. Definitely doesn't go as well as the white blazer does with this outfit. I do still like it though, it's just not giving me the pizzazz that I wanted it to. It might be the blazer itself. I feel like it's a bit too wide at the bottom and not really fitted enough. Even when it's on the double breast, I feel like this bit's maybe a bit not quite hugging me where I want it to hug me. Um, yeah, there's something else. Oh, yeah, I was going to pair this with this top, but this doesn't even fit over my hips, so it definitely wouldn't fit over my shoulders. It's got a zip at the side, but it stops like down, whereas this side here, it stops down here, but this part, it's not stretchy, so it's really beautiful. I don't know how the model got it on, to be honest with you, um, but it's, yeah, it's not made correctly, so it can't even get it on, unfortunately. So I had planned to pair that top with the beige trousers and this jacket to see what that would look like. Um, but obviously I can't now. But I have still got this other body. 
Um, the jacket, I'm probably going to send this back because I just don't feel like it's fitting me how I wanted it to. It's a bit too peplum-y. <laughs> it's giving me like a peplum vibe at the bottom here rather than nice and fitted. I do have another beautiful blazer actually. Where's it? Hang on. Um, that I got last year. I think it was last year. From Zara. And it's more of a, a tan or that's a, quite a, like a tan colour almost. Um, I think with this camel one. So this is a very smart jacket. This is one of my favourite jackets that I own. And it's from Zara. And when I saw it, I just had to get it straight away because I just thought it's so beautiful. Oh. See, the long line, I just straight away i feel like it's elongated my body instantly made me look taller than i am that's really beautiful and it goes much better with the shoes this is an absolute winner winner chicken dinner a nice necklace like a gold necklace would be really beautiful with this let's see how the bags go not really loving either of those with this outfit about the Gucci, or maybe the Chanel boy, actually. This is a boy bag. Let's have a look. I love that. A nice selection of different. Um, you can use that one, go actually, because it's silver hardware. Um, yeah, I quite like that. That's quite nice. The Gucci, it's looking nice. The silver hardware, I don't think that's going to go well. Belt. Could always change the belt. It's clashing with the belt. Um, yeah, no, I don't like it anyway. So let's <gasps> what else do we have? Maybe the Prada. <laughs> I'm going through all my bags. Oh, I can't reach it. I can't reach that. Let's try the little Gucci. I've got a Saint Germain. How's the little Gucci looking with this outfit? Cute. Yay or nay? I think nay. <laughs> oh god. I'm going to get out of Saint Germain, which I have not used in such a long time. It does need a good clean, actually. many neutrals now just too many i feel like i've got four different shades of neutral on you yeah, know that's and it's, it's too bulky for this like long slim line so maybe the best one swap those so this is the final outfit pairing and i had planned to put these trousers with the um, sparkly vest style top um however obviously it didn't fit me so i've just paired it with this one for now and i've put on my jimmy choo belt with the crystals really, really cute just to go for the cool um side of things so i've still got the um stone le boutons on i don't know if you can how much you can see of this outfit but then it would go with the Chanel Boy. Real nice. Because I've got the um, cool tones. So everything I've got here has got a cool tone. That's the belt, it's a cool tone. The trousers are a cool tone. The shoes are a cool tone. I think this one's my watch actually. Um, yes, yeah, so that looks really cute, I think. And putting a belt around these trousers makes them look like they've got a bit of a paper bag effect, which is my favourite style of trouser. Uh, yes, I think that goes really nicely. Let's see what it looks like with that jacket. I think the jacket might ruin the look. Might be a bit much. 
we can always check these things. Oh, if they don't go. Oh, that's cute actually. Oh, I don't hate that, that's perfectly fine. Especially if you're going out of an evening um, this time of year for the next month or so, it will keep you warm going to and from your transport to the venue. Um, and you can always whip it off. Yeah, I like that. Hmm, very nice. Let's see if it's still going. But I thought it too many. No, that's fine. Yeah, that looks fine now. Very cute. Let's see what looks on the other bag. No, the gold hardware throws it off for me. Yes, it's always good to have a few options. And the Prada's, yeah, the Prada's gold as well. Yeah, so that's cute. Definitely like all of these outfits, um, all the different pieces that go really well, different ways. So, yeah, cute. I'm happy with all of this stuff. So this is the entirety of everything that I purchased. Let me know what you think in the comments. What was your favourite pieces? What outfits did you think worked? What didn't work? What items would you wear yourself? What would you definitely not wear? Maybe the first outfit was a little bit much, a bit short, that sort of thing. Let me know in the comments. I actually really like this. I just want somewhere to go now. <laughs> so, I've got a few events coming up, so that's exciting. And I've got a few more things that I can wear to them now, so that's always nice. So yeah, this outfit concludes this lovely video. Please let me know what you think in the comment section as I do always reply to all of my comments. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and hopefully I'll see you again soon for another one. Take care, bye!